Rode just released what might be the perfect lavalier microphone recorder combo for wedding filmmakers. The Rode Wireless Go 2. Let's check it out. I literally was shocked when I was reading the specs on this new microphone from Rode, the Rode Wireless Go 2, because it has, in my opinion, not having used it, just based on reading about it, every single thing I could have asked for in a lavalier microphone for wedding filmmaking. And we're gonna get into that. But before we get into that, I would just wanna encourage you, if you enjoy this video or you enjoy what we do here at Wedding Film School, definitely hit the subscribe button. And definitely, you gotta hit the alert button because we got a bunch of other content, live streams, film critiques, and of course, the Wedding Film School show that you can follow here on Wedding Film School's YouTube channel. But enough of that YouTube stuff, let's get into what you're here for, the Rode Wireless Go 2. So, if you're not familiar with the Rode Wireless Go line of products, it's a really, really cool product that they released a couple years ago. I'm actually using one right now. Here it is. It's just a transmitter receiver combo. And what's neat about it is not only does it have a microphone input on it, but it has a microphone built into it as well. So this is great for vlogging if you're on the go. Just a lot of different scenarios where, I mean, I've even used it as backup audio at a wedding before. It's a unique product. It connects really easy. It doesn't have some of the messy connection screens or any of that stuff that um, maybe other lavs might have. It's really, really great, but it does have some major downsides. The number one problem with the Rode Wireless Go is that it just wasn't that reliable for wedding filmmaking, mainly because it kind of had a weak signal strength. So say you lost line of sight with your subject, a groom wearing a mic decided to go inside, go to the bathroom or something, it loses connectivity and then maybe it might not even reconnect. I had those issues a few times and I kind of just moved into a place where I was like, if a lav mic is not dependable in every situation, I think oftentimes it's just not the right tool. It's great for stuff like recording a YouTube video, vlogging, but when you can't really control the environment, like a wedding film, it maybe wasn't the right tool for a lot of people. Even though I know a lot of people use them at wedding filmmaking and they use them very, very well. They're awesome mics, they're really good. Today though, Rode decided to drop the Rode Wireless Go 2. I was actually stunned because I think they literally put in every single feature I could have ever wanted in a lav mic, including a built-in recorder. So let's dig into the top features that I love about the Rode Wireless Go 2. First thing, it is a stereo receiver with two transmitters. Why do you want this? Well, a stereo receiver will allow you to take your signal from two different microphones, say one on the groom, and one on the officiant or one on the bride, one on the groom, however you want to do it, and actually run it into your camera as a left and a right. If you do it that way, you're recording both tracks of audio directly onto your camera. You can also, of course, plug your Rode Wireless Go into a recorder that's a line level recorder, something like a Zoom H6 or Sound Devices Mix Pre 3, something like that. No matter how you choose to capture the audio coming into your receiver, having stereo transmitters has a ton of benefits. It gives you tons of flexibility and I'm super excited to get to use that on a wedding day. The number two feature that I actually love about the Rode Wireless Go is actually a problem that they fixed from the Rode Wireless Go 1, which is improved signal strength. This thing has a ton more range. They're using a 2.4 gigahertz digital transmission that they're encrypting at 128 bits and it's got 200 meters of line of sight transmission, which is more than double the transmission strength of the previous road. This is a huge improvement and really, really makes it much more likely that I am interested in using this on a wedding day. The third thing that I love about the Rode Wireless Go 2 and why I think it's actually gonna be taking on the Tascam DR10s and the Zoom F2s of the world is that they actually built a recorder into these things. So you get up to 24 hours of recording right in your transmitter. This has a ton of awesome implications. The first problem this recorder solves is if you lose transmission in the middle of a wedding. In that case, because you have recording built right into the transmitter, it's not a big deal. And I know for peace of mind, that really, really makes a big difference. Not only does the road go record, it actually records a safety channel as well. If you're familiar with the Tascam DR10, what this does is it records a second audio track at minus 20 decibels to really prevent anything like peeking out if someone starts yelling or something like that. So you're getting all the features of maybe your Tascam DR10 plus the ability to transmit a wireless signal. It's pretty crazy. 
The other thing that I think a lot of people might not even be thinking about is now that you have a recorder that also transmit, you can actually start using your recorder, but you can't do this with a Zoom F2 or a Tascam DR10. You can use your recorder slash transmitter in conjunction with a live stream. And for many wedding filmmakers, it doesn't really make sense to have two microphones, one recording and one transmitting to your live stream. If you're a wedding filmmaker that also does live streaming at weddings, the Rode Wireless Go 2, really, it's the only solution for you. It makes a ton of sense. Now they've done a bunch of other cool stuff, brand new app, which allows you to integrate with more microphones within the Zoom lineup. Um, of course, it's got the same really small form factor that I love, but you might be asking, well, how much is this gonna cost me? The answer, $299. Now, for some of you guys, that might seem expensive, especially if you're comparing it to a Zoom F2, Zoom F2 BT, Tascam, but I wanna get you to think a little differently. The Rode Go is like buying two Tascam DR10s plus getting a wireless transmission. Now, the only thing I'll point out is I don't believe they're including a lav mic in here. For most of us wedding filmmakers, that's not gonna be a big issue because we have plenty of lav mics laying around and you can just use one from your old wireless go or for whatever wireless system you have. But if you don't have a wireless microphone, you are gonna to need to get that as well when you purchase your new Rode Wireless Go system. But I think it's still pretty incredible and I'm very happy with the price. The Rode Wireless Go is available now. If you go down into the descriptions, you can actually click a link and buy one. And I would say, why not? It seems like the perfect solution for wedding filmmakers. And I think it's set to dominate the market. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, hit the alert bell. We are gonna see you later on Wedding Film School.